Okay, Google. Can you please open my garage? Open Sesame. That little project I did in a couple of days. So I'm going to tell you how I did it. But first, help my channel grow. If you haven't already, click below, click subscribe. If you can click on the bell, that's going to notify you when I make more videos. So all of these little project videos, all of these tips, tricks. Uh, I plan to do some more technology reviews, not just home automation. Whenever that comes out, you're going to get notified. And on top of that, guys, if you're liking these videos, give me the thumbs up. Help me grow. Help me get a bigger reach. Help me make a, a bigger community. So that little project is really simple to do. Most of it was done for some research on the internet. There's tons of things out there for how to control your garage door. Uh, solution I went with is super simple. Basically took three or four components to sew it all together, but honestly they could all work independently on their own. So the main thing that does it, the main piece, is a uh, photon particle core. It used to be called the Spark Core. They started out as a Kickstarter. Pretty cool little development board. Um, the most important thing about it is the fact that it has built-in Wi-Fi. So essentially what that allows you to do is you get one of these little cores, you use your cell phone, you hook it up to your online uh, particle cloud account. After that you can put it in your project, put it wherever you want to because it's completely controlled through your Wi-Fi, through the cloud. Anytime you want to change or update it or flash the code, all done through there. Particle has a fantastic web interface. You can go in, you can monitor uh, uptime, problems, whenever messages are sent back and forth, interactions with the board, um, functions, anything that goes on. And other than that, it's pretty much an Arduino board. So if you've ever worked with that, it's really easy to do. If you've never worked with an Arduino board and you've never worked with a particle core, it's also really easy to do. Trust me, this is a fun little project. If you can follow our recipe, you can do this. So that's the main component. I have the plans in the link below. I have the code in the link below. Uh, if you want to set that up yourself, go ahead and give it a try. It takes just a few components, to be honest, super simple to do. Mine controls two garage doors. It's just as simple to do more or less. Check it out, super simple. Now the second part of that is OpenHab. Uh, it allows me to kind of manage it. It allows me to put rules around it. All of that I could probably do from the particle itself, but this allows me to extend it and kind of join it into the rest of my house. Um, when the garage door opens, I can really easily um, turn on some lights, unlock a door, pretty much do anything I want. Same thing when it's closed. I can also use OpenHab to monitor the garage and notify me when it's closed, automatically close it if I wanted to. Uh, a lot of different things I can do there. So really easy to plug in. It's built into the code and I'm going to show you again in the code below. It's really easy. I got a little tutorial so you can follow all the steps and, and go ahead and set one of these up for yourself. Now the final component, or actually final two components, is uh, Google Assistant uh, or Google Home. So the way I tapped into this, and again, a couple ways you could do it, but this time I chose to use uh, If This Then That. If you haven't used If This Then That before, go sign up for an account right now, even if you just want to take a look at it. It's fantastic, super simple, but it has a lot of really cool ways to add some simple automation to many everyday tasks, from email to uh, spreadsheets and things like that, all the way through to your home automation projects. They have a really nice Google Assistant or Google Home plugin. And what this allows you to do is create any voice control you want to do. So basically you create a trigger. Mine was... Um, he's listening. Go ahead and open my garage and that sends a signal through and then what happens is the second part of that if this then that is to work with the particle cloud and it exposes the functions of open and close and status and stuff like that. So really easy world to set up. You get that, you set it up, you tell it what you're gonna say and you can actually have a few different phrases in there so you can say it different ways if you want and then you tell it what you want it to do and you can even have it respond to you and tell you what it's going to say back. In my case it said open sesame or it says uh, consider it done. Pretty cheesy I know but what do you want? So um, yeah so that's the second part. So what that allows you to do is from your phone or from a uh, home device you can issue commands and, and have it open and close. And again that all ties back together because when the garage actually opens or when it actually closes that's when OpenHab gets its status and you could do other things as well. So you could technically tie that voice command into opening your garage door and then turning off all the lights in your house just as an automatic part of that when the garage door closes and maybe your alarm system is on. Lots of different things you can do. 
So guys, this is a really easy project. If you're looking to try something a little out of the normal, maybe not something you're gonna go buy at a best at a big box store, go ahead. By the way, there are garage door openers out there. I mean, if you wanna be one Q, I think it's called, or sort of thing, or my Q, uh, plugs into your garage door, but very, very similar. This just adds a lot of functionality. I think if you look at it, it's pretty cool. You can do anything you really want with it, and the cost is much less. With the other one, you're gonna buy a couple of those units. I think you're over 200 bucks to control two garage doors. So this one, I think 50 bucks probably would have you covered for all of the components. So guys, thank you so much. Again, uh, if you haven't, subscribe. Uh, really gonna help me out, and hopefully these videos are helping you out, so we're helping each other out. But uh, subscribe button below, the bell button, get notified when I have new videos, and the thumbs up. The thumbs up actually goes a long way. Thumbs up, thumbs up, unless you don't like it, thumbs down, and, and, and I learned from that. Comments as well. Guys, I'm looking to build a community here. If there's more you want, you want to see projects like this, you think this one was cool, let me know. You think it was stupid, tell me. Um, let's do this together. I'm going to see you in the next video. I've always wanted to do that.